Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel The Sarthak Show where we discuss about tech, career, product and life. Today we have a very special guest with us, Diksha. She is working as a system software engineer at Dell. Today we will learn more about what kind of profile is this, how is it similar from a DevOps profile, what are the things that are required to become a DevOps engineer, so and so forth. We will deep dive into her story, how she became one, what made her move into this domain and what kind of things that you can do to become a very good DevOps engineer. <music> So thank you so much Diksha for joining in for this podcast and taking out time for this and would love to know more about you, your professional history and everything. Thank you for having Sartak here. It would be a great pleasure for me to have you here. Can you share a little bit about yourself? I, I have heard that you have done amazing projects at your college life. So can you share starting with that? Yeah, so I am Diksha Chana. I am currently working in Dell as a software system engineer. And in my college projects, I was holding a two projects. One was a website and the, another was a Helm. So that is basically an ID Java based project. We have created an integrated development environment for the industry. And I am currently holding a patent for one of the projects which is one of the idea idea patent basically for my website mm-hmm. and that is all about the projects which i've done in college and also i've won two national level prizes for my project awesome that's great to hear that uh, someone holding a patent in their college life and that too in the software engineering domain again amazing to have you here and we'll know and learn more about you and starting from the first question so what kind of a profile is this devops profile i certainly believe that a lot of people out there doesn't even know what this profile is, is this profile exists in some companies and what is everything about this profile looks like so yeah so devops is basically if you call it as it is the middleman of a development team and a testing team when someone checks in the code it comes into a platform which is being managed by the developer managed by the devops team and when some, some test cases are designed that comes into us which is completely managed so it is basically a quality assurance team which is role is called as devops engineer oh so for the folks out there it's also a tech profile it's uh, it's not it's a completely a tech yeah it's completely a tech profile which is based out of cloud jenkins different tools are there version control tools garrett and some jira tools so all those tools are as part of the devops only we'll learn Hmm. Interesting. So I think people should know that that if you are in the tech domain and this is a career option that you can always choose to become and with the growing space of cloud and with the major companies like AWS, or GCP and Microsoft as you are moving in this space, you have very high chances and this space is grow is going to grow bigger and bigger. So yeah, moving on. So according to Diksha, what kind of things that you did to become a DevOps engineer? What are the learnings and how did you decide to move into this domain? So DevOps is basically the boom of this particular industry. I completely tell you so it's growing in x's so 5x 10x every time every year every time it's growing in the x's range and when it comes to the salary ranges or the other ranges you will get 100 percent hike 150 percent hike if you have that particular knowledge or have the particular domain knowledge so what when i decided to come i don't want to do the development like the development is not of my domain so i don't want to do coding 24 7 which is exactly which i don't want to choose that so the other other option I don't want to go into the testing profile or the analyst profile I wanted to remain into some tech profile itself so the only point with itself is a growing career having a boom in the market so I decided to opt for the DevOps then I learned about the basic clouds the scripting languages and some tools which is being used so the very basic is how you know about the flow of a DevOps so knowing about the CI CD pipeline that is most important thing which is from a base if someone wants to learn that CI CD pipeline flow everybody should know the scripting basic scripting should know the linux platform these are the basic things which someone can learn in their college time so that they will able to reach that level of a devops engineer so from that is the start for a devops engineer which i think everybody needs to have it okay and since you you are already working you have already worked at nokia and you're already working at dell so what do you think is something like a typical interview looks like for a candidate like what kind of questions are asked or how many rounds is required to clear for a devops engineer so so when I talk about the interview for different organization, different sets of interview rounds are there. For me, having into the Dell as a DevOps engineer or the software system engineer profile inside that I'm working as a DevOps role only. So for me, it was a completely two rounds of technical discussion. After that, going forward, managerial round and then going forward, HR round. So there are total four rounds for me and two was completely technical round. One was the completely based out of a coding route. Either you can do that in Python, scripting, whatever you feel better 
or what you have the command you have in in any of the languages you are comfortable with there was a completely based out of a coding round after once you clear those coding round then you proceeded with to the next round which is actually a devops based round in which you will be asked about the kubernetes cluster kubernetes question helm chart questions how to create a docker image what is kubernetes cl- cluster what is the deployments what is etdc so these are the basic interview questions which are there into the interview which i have in the dell okay interesting i think this makes for the interview question so then the question comes like what kind of projects generally a devops engineer works on based on your experience at nokia and dell what kind of projects that you have worked on or what kind of day to day tasks are involved for a devops engineer from the very basic it could be either doing the deployments or creating a docker image or building up the microservices creating a helm chart and the nokia was working in a project name as edenet that is a self organization network which is basically a network optimization product mm-hmm. so in that i was into the role of a devops engineer so where we have several microservices we have at around 30 plus microservices so each microservice have a different jenkins pipeline all those pipelines needs maintenance and all those pipes needs a uh, scripting and the time of automation according to the work coming in or according to the product modification so all those things is being managed by a devops engineer after that going to the releases part when it comes to the releases of a product or releases of a version then we have the artifactories we ha- used to release different versions then uploading those to the artifactories doing the deployments into the someone's platform so all those things are being done by the devops engineer awesome i think one who is looking forward to become a devops engineer they are going to be very in- in exciting products and projects that you are going to be working on and yeah. something like you will be one of the person who is maintaining how the product or version is going out in the market so yeah it looks a very interesting profile to me so it's basically how the quality of a product would be so we have the responsibility as a complete responsibility of the product when it comes to the devops part so we have to maintain a certain in quality we have to set the benchmark so we'll do code review we have to do some sanity checks so all those things are comes into a pipeline so if any of the steps missed out or if any of the things missed out for a code if we have skipped up any of the test cases or if anything goes wrong everything comes in the bucket of a devops engineer only so it's the main core of any product hmm, interesting i think uh, again that is so true because a lot of times i have realized that companies with devops engineers in place have better timelines and better management schedule how they release the products in a market or how they have all together the pipelines and the working schedule with them so yeah having that person in between maintaining all of these things also take off some burden from qas and devs and other stakeholders so yeah it's very interesting in that way yeah it's quite interesting and also it takes like suppose you have some developer coming in and some testing member coming in and all those checks and everything when it comes to the management to our part then we have to do those automations also create the helm chart also and create a kubernetes clusters to deploy into to do those deployments so all those part is of a devops engineer only right and as i see like that uh, the next question that comes is like what kind of resources that you recommend to a person who would want to prepare for devops profile what are the places or courses that they can uh, work on what are the maybe there would be some certifications or books that you have uh, used or maybe some youtube channel whatever or however you prepare for these profile uh, this profile so the very first and basic foremost thing is having a good command on any of the coding language like whatever that particular person who is preparing for that should have a good coding command like it, that is the very base of anything so it can be preparing from the any of the youtube channel or java t point which I highly recommend geeks for geeks and when it comes to the git preparation like the version co- control tool preparation that is git or the jenkins preparation or any of the kubernetes so kubernetes itself is having their own page on website where you can check out the different commands of the kubernetes the flow of the architecture of the kubernetes the deployment how the kubernetes deployment is being done so all those things is available itself on the kubernetes website and if i have to talk about something which is very in free for something then you can opt for geeks for geeks or tutorials points all those websites are there where you can prepare and they directly have the interview questions and from if you are going for some some companies interview then you can go for glassdoor check their previous interview questions but all the questions they have asked from a devops engineer or what are the coding questions 
so you can just search for those questions and sometimes those repeated questions qu- can come also awesome i think you have listed out all the resources and end to end journey like where you can prepare and where you can also prepare to learn about the theoretical and uh, practical aspects of a devops profile yeah, as well yeah. as how you can prepare for the interviews as well and since you mentioned a very interesting thing that the person should know about coding and uh, some of the scripting languages and how things actually function i'd like to take this uh, moment and mention that newton school has started their own full stack development course so audience if you wanted to move into the tech domain and if you want to learn coding you can check out newton school's full stack development course where they start the course from scratch and make you a full stack developer you can know more information from the link that is present in the description box below you can check that out it's a zero fee upfront course so you don't have to pay any fee right away unless you get a job offer so please check that out learn more about the course and whatever the nitty gritties and details about this course so yeah check that out and thanks diksha for mentioning all those resources and i hope you are having an awesome time at dell working yeah, yeah but yeah. would want to know like how the work culture and what are the different aspects of working at perks that are w- working at dell looks like so if i talk about the work culture any product based company like i've worked in nokia i've worked in dell so they have fantastic culture you have complete work life balance they have different perks benefits so i have the best managers of my life so uh, whatever i have experienced that was a complete positive experience for me i have learned every day it's a new learning only every day i get to connect with different people they have different fun games they have different opportunities coming in each time they have different fun activities lunch different opportunities of for the freshers and they have different hackathons so every day we have a new challenge we have a new learning so it's a great work life balance great learning experience with a great culture we even connect personally professionally all those things are there into the dell so i have a great time so it's incredible like having such a positive experience from an organization is quite good yeah awesome i think same for a- the nokia also they were, would have the best work culture the best managers was their best team i had mm-hmm. and everyone is quite supportive in the nokia time i was completely new to the domain i don't have much knowledge about the thing so they were quite helpful in making the thing learn telling me what's wrong what's right helping me out with the things if i'm not able to figure out same for the dell so i had the best experience till now yeah and in, i think that's a wonderful part of it where you work and you enjoy the company you enjoy the the colleagues that they are working and the culture that they have whatever perks and whatever learnings that you get are very good and you feel more loyal to the company more aware for the company and like readily working on those things and you appreciate it outside the channel as well so yeah that is the best part anybody who is listening in can i would highly it. recommend yeah <laughs> anybody who is uh, wanted to uh, go for dell or nokia i had the best experience they have the best uh, work life balance so i would highly recommend it's my personal suggestion like if they have any doubts or something yeah as diksha mentioned that you can uh, definitely choose to go for dell or nokia and they have the work, best working work life balance and working culture over there so yeah uh, definitely check that out and thank you so much diksha for answering all these questions in a so better way i got to learn so much about this profile got to learn like how you can become one it's so great and i hope the audience will be very grateful for these answers and they were looking for so yeah thank you so much for that and anybody who is looking forward to connect with diksha i will put her linkedin link in the description box below you can reach out to her she is a very fun person she is a very fantastic person so yeah thank you so much thank you so much thank you for having me here it's a great time yeah cool for the audience again thank you so much for tuning in for this podcast i hope you like this content let me know in the comment section below that what you want next and i will see you in the next video till then take care bye bye